Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to play the harmonics on guitar. And now it's pretty funny because only recently have I learned the name of this technique, even though I have been able to do this technique for years, but it's only through the videos of Ali Bata on which I did reactions that I got to know the name of that technique, at least in English. So what are harmonics? I would actually refer to that as the head voice of your guitar, kinda. It's very soft when it comes to the sound of those notes and it's a totally different technique. So instead of pressing down the strings, you hold your finger on the fret, you plug the string and you release your finger from the string. Now there are only certain positions on which you can use harmonics. The most common ones, certainly for beginners, would be on the 5th, 7th and the 12th fret. And from that point on you can go further on the 17th, 19th and such as well. But I'm gonna focus on those three, the 5th, the 7th and the 12th. The 9th is also an option, but that is a lot harder and it's not really that fitting of a tone compared to the rest of them, because the rest actually are just the same tone or octaves of the fret on which they are. So yeah, let's start off with these three. Now it's pretty interesting, I'm gonna start actually at the highest point being the 12th fret, because on that point, if you press down the string or you use the harmonics, the tone is the same, but it sounds a little bit softer. So if I'm pressing down, I'm gonna use the first string as an example. So if I press down the string, we get the normal tone. In this case, it's an E. If I make that a harmonic, I just hold my finger on there, I plug the string and I release my finger. So like this. It's a very soft sound like that, but it's the same tone as I would press down. The interesting thing is, if we go back now to the 7th and to the 5th, instead of going down in tone, we go up in tone. It gets higher instead of lower. So, let's go to the 7th. If we press down our string on the 7th, we get this. Now, if we make a harmonic of that, we hold our finger, plug the string and release it. It's an octave higher than that. Because if we go one octave higher than that, we get this tone. That's the same tone. Now if we go back more to the fifth and we press down, that's lower than the seventh, but if we make a harmonic of that, that is two octaves higher than if we would press down the string. So if we start off on the 12th, that's the same tone. If we press down or we hold it, if we go to the 7th, it's one octave difference if we make a harmonic of that. And if we go to the 5th, it's a two octave difference. That's pretty interesting. So those are the most common ones, certainly for beginners. So I would advise to start off by just trying and get these harmonics clean by just playing every string separately at that. Point. Now it's very important, where do you hold your finger? It's not in between frets, you hold it over the fret. Just on the fret but over it. Otherwise you will not have the sound you want. One of the tunes that you can get with this, that I saw Alip Bata do on his video, is Num from Linkin Park. Those are all harmonics. And you can do that, but you have to practice a lot. Ali Bata even includes percussion and such together with this, but that's a whole other level. But we're going to keep it with these three for today. And first, just try to have a clean sound with them. All right? Okay, I hope you learned something again today, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Also, don't forget, I have other tutorials. I have reaction videos and music videos for you guys to check out. So thank you very much, and see you guys next time. Bye. Uh, on which I did name of the tag of with um, and so if I pr then if we and if we go to the fifth, it's a two octave. It's a, 
Now it's very interesting, but it's and just try to be and just try and and just first 